Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create virtual products in Magento. For those of you that are not familiar with virtual products, uh, virtual products are actually very similar to simple products with the exception that these uh, type of products do not ship. In other words, virtual products are great for uh, services, warranties, or subscriptions. So to start, simply go to your Magento admin panel. Next, simply go to catalog and click on manage products. Now simply click on the add product button. If you'd like you may choose an attribute set. In my case I'll leave it on default. If uh, you're not familiar with attribute sets and would like to learn more about them I actually have a video on this. For product type simply select virtual product and click on continue. For the name simply enter in a name. This is basically the title which shows up right here. In my case it will be social media marketing. For SKU you can enter in uh, anything you'd like. Uh, in my case it will be SMM. For status I will choose enabled. If you choose enabled the item will show up in your store. For text class I will choose none. If you'd like to uh, add a text class you can. If you haven't set up your taxes and would like to set up taxes I actually have a video on this so uh, simply check out my other videos. As for URL key, I will leave it empty. If I leave it empty, it will actually use this name and make it compliant. Basically, this is where the URL key shows up. It's the path in uh, the URL here. As for uh, visibility, I will choose catalog and search. Uh, this depends on your preference. If you choose not visible individually, the item will not show up in your store. If you choose catalog, it will only show up on uh, category pages. If you choose search, it will show up on search results pages. Catalog and search, it will show up in both places. For a set product as new date, here you would enter in uh, the date that you'd like the product to be considered new. This is especially useful if you're using the Magento uh, new product listing widget, which you can add to your home page to show uh, new products. If uh, not, you can just leave it empty. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about that new products widget, you can actually watch uh, my video on how to customize your Magento homepage, where I actually show you how to add that widget to your homepage. Uh, once uh, finished uh, entering the general uh, details, simply go to prices. Here I will simply enter in a price. Keep in mind that I don't do social media marketing, so I don't know what it costs. For group price, if you have uh, groups, for example, you might have a wholesale group or a VIP group or something like that, you can actually add a separate price for that group. Uh, keep in mind that you actually have to create the group in order for this to work. For cost, this is what this uh, virtual product costs you. This, of course, is optional. For tier price, this is if you want to offer bulk discounts. For example, if someone buys uh, more than one of these uh, services you can offer it for a discounted price. For a special price this is if you'd like to offer a price that is lower than the actual price. For a special price from date, special price to date, these are the dates that this item will be offered at the special price. If you leave this empty uh, the special price will remain um, what I, at whatever you enter in here for as long as you leave it like that. If you edit the item and remove the special price, the item will again cost whatever the price here is. I will just leave this empty. For MAP, this is if you'd like to offer a minimum advertised price. For example, uh, you can have uh, the price show up only after the item is added to the cart or before order confirmation or on gesture. I will just leave it all as is. And manufacturer suggested retail price is the manufacturer suggested retail price. Once finished, simply go to meta information. Here you can enter in a meta title keywords uh, description. For example, the meta title shows up in your web browser here. The keywords are basically for uh, search engine robots and the description shows up in your source code and is also used by search engine robots and displayed in search results uh, pages. Uh, I will just leave it as is. Uh, if you do enter information here, uh, remember to leave out HTML tags for the title. If uh, you leave this empty now, uh, Magento will actually auto-generate this information for you. When done, simply go to images. For images, I will simply upload my image here. I actually uh, have 
one image, but if you'd like to uh, upload more than one image, you can actually select more than one uh, image at once. And now you can either enter in a label or leave it as is. I'm going to select my thumbnail, my small image here, and my base image. If you don't, uh, these images won't show up in your store. If you'd like, you can actually upload separate images for each type of uh, image and then simply select your type. When finished simply go to description. In the description field I will enter in a long description and in the short description field I will enter in a short description. This is where the short description shows up and this is where the long description shows up. When finished simply go to design. If you'd like to enter in a custom design you can, if not simply proceed. There's also a recurring profile here. You can actually uh, set up uh, recurring uh, payments. For example, if you'd like to charge your customer a certain uh, fee every month, you can. There's even a uh, trial period that you can set up if you'd like and initial fees as well. In my case, I won't be entering in this information for this listing. For gift options, if you'd like to allow a gift message during checkout, simply select yes or uh, configure your settings in system configuration. For inventory I will simply enter in my inventory. I will enter in 1000. For stock availability I will choose in stock. And for all these values they're pretty much self-explanatory and they can also be set up in your systems configuration uh, settings. For website, if you have more than one website, you'll want to check off uh, which website you'd like uh, this item to show up in. If uh, you have a stock install and haven't set up websites, you likely won't have this set up here. For categories, you can choose your category. If you haven't set up categories yet, and this is the first time that you're actually creating an item, I have a video on how to set up uh, categories, so when you're finished watching this video, you can always watch my other video. For related products, upsells and cross-sells, I actually have uh, a video on this, so I won't cover this in this uh, video. For custom options, this is a great way to add selections for customers. If you'd like to leave this empty, you can. If not, you can enter in, for example, something like this. I'm actually going to enter in a type of marketing and I will have this as required and I will enter in a new row and I will enter in Facebook and Twitter and I'll leave this as is so that it uses the actual price of the listing and then I'll just add a new row and I'll add Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest and here I'll enter in what this additional service costs. Keep in mind that this is in addition to what the actual price of the listing is. If you'd like to enter in a SKU, you can. If you'd like to enter in a sort order, you can. If you'd like to enter in a custom SKU for each option, you can. If not, it will just use the default SKU. When finished, simply click on Save. And here is my new listing. And now we can check out this new listing on the front end and there it is and here is our uh, type of marketing option and as you can see if we choose the second option the fifty dollars gets added to the actual price so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com